In November 2021, it was reported that Lady Gaga sold one of her properties, her Hollywood Hills house, that formerly belonged to quirky musician Frank Zappa. She sold the estate for almost $6.5 million to Elizabeth or Lizzie Jagger. At the time, Gaga mainly lives in her massive $22 million compound in Malibu, California, which she dubbed the Gypsy Palace, and it boasts 10,000 square feet of space, along with luxury features and access to the coveted Zuma Beach. In these videos, we don't reveal any ad and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Stephanie Germanotta, much better known as Lady Gaga, is a singer, songwriter, and actress who is noted for her versatility in music, as well as her bold fashion in reinventing her image. The New York native began performing as a teen, acting in school plays, and showing up to open mic nights as well. While she didn't rise to fame until she was older, in 2007, her debut album was a hit, and the rest, well, that was history. Now, the multi Grammy winning star has sold well over 124 million records and is one of the highest earning female musicians of the 2010. Not to mention, Gaga has a whopping net worth of about $150 million. While she's always loved her home of New York City, these days Gaga prefers to spend her time off unwinding at her Malibu spread. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, and in this one, we're looking at the homes of superstar Lady Gaga. Don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. In November 2021, Gaga offloaded one of her properties for $6.5 million to Lizzie Jagger. This crib was located in the Hollywood Hills neighborhood of Los Angeles, and it used to be long owned by musician Frank Zappa. He bought the unique compound back in the 1970s, spending just over $75,000. Imagine that. Over the next 20 or so odd years, up until his passing in 1993, he lived here with his family. The half acre property boasted a Tudor style main residence with an attached apartment, ideal for staff as well as two separate guest houses, both designed differently than the main home. The guest houses are modern while the main house is inspired by old world charm and features. Inside the property spans 6,759 square feet of space with seven beds and six baths, not including the bonus guest houses. The amusing features in the home include an entryway and door that looks like something out of the Shire. Fellow Lord of the Rings fans, you'll know what I mean. There's also an interesting wood paneled lounge covered in quirky decoration. The home has many rooms covered in colorful yet charming wallpaper designs, while other spaces, like a hallway with black and white checkerboard tiled floors, and a modern bathroom with standalone tub set beneath an arch, are more elegant. Elsewhere on the estate, there were not one but two recording studios, a feature that Gaga definitely like, one of which was called the Utility Muffin Research Kitchen by Zappa himself. In fact, Gaga recorded some of her album Chromatica here. The property also offers a two-level art gallery, windows straight off of a vintage submarine, a rooftop tennis court, a greenhouse, stunning gardens, and a swimming pool. Gaga purchased the home for about $5.3 million in 2015 and said at the time the estate was very special and magical and claimed she would restore it while also leaving it the way it was. Since Gaga sold it in an off-market deal, we unfortunately can't see photos of the upgrades the star may have made to the place. So that house was very historic and cool, but Lady Gaga's main residence is something else altogether. After years of renting homes, she decided to put down some roots, purchasing a sprawling Malibu compound in 2014 for a whopping $22.5 million. The mega mansion overlooks the stunning Zuma Beach, and of course, her home has some of the best Best ocean views. Covering six acres of land, Gaga's sprawling property has features like a guest cottage, a saltwater infinity pool and hot tub, as well as rose garden. Gaga is also known to be a fan of horses, and a lot of the grounds are dedicated to her. There's a barn with eight stalls, along with a tack and feed room, a large riding arena, four grass pens, two large grazing pastures, and riding trails. Her massive Malibu home is one of a kind, covering over 10,000 square feet of space inside. 
She's even given the home a name, and Gaga said, This is my sanctuary, my oasis of peace. I call it my gypsy palace. The build of Gaga's home blends in with the landscape, like the rolling hills and the open air. The main mansion is two floors with one story wings to the right. Inside, there are common spaces with soaring ceilings and room to entertain, boasting rustic furniture, hardwood floors, and exposed beams. Gaga's spacious kitchen is full of modern updates, like the appliances, but it mixes high end accents, such as the counters, with more rustic touches, and there are also French doors to outside. The formal dining room is connected to a classy living room thanks to the open plan layout, and in this living room, there are beamed ceilings, classic chandeliers, and a fireplace. If that's not enough, a separate den or family room is in its own retreat, separated from the common spaces that we just looked at. Yet, it still offers views of the coast. To really take advantage of the location, Gaga can step outside to her wood-themed sunroom, or even better, to her private master suite terrace overlooking the ocean. Here, there's patio seating for four and a plush daybed. The star's master retreat also offers two fireplaces, a full gym, his and hers bathrooms with heated stone flooring, a custom safe room, and double walk-in closets. The mansion is just three bedrooms, which is strange for a house so huge. Gaga even reportedly converted bedrooms into space for her wardrobe. In her room full of clothes, she has plenty of custom designs like a cape from Alexander McQueen and pieces from Versace. In a separate chamber, she said she has racks upon racks of leather and feathers and sequins and a lot of black. Her dressing room even has its own fridge inside. The star also loves pink and thinks it to be a relaxing color for her. So, of course, the Malibu home is full of the shade, including a pink sofa and giant pink rug to name a few. The previous owner of the mansion was Dan Romanelli, who was part of the Warner Brothers team and worked on all of the Batman merch. So, when he built the home in 2005, he added a bat cave lair. This special lair is accessed through a secret door and passageway in the living room and includes an 800 bottle wine cellar, home movie theater and bar, even a two lane bowling alley. That has got to be the coolest part of the house. Considering Gaga has her beautiful Malibu palace, she doesn't need much else. In 2016, though, she did want to spend some time in her hometown of New York City, renting out an exclusive penthouse for 67 k per month, and she was rumored to be the only person to have stayed in the building at the time. Built the same year in 2016, the glamorous crib boasted 5 beds and 12 baths, first listed for sale at a massive $36.8 million before being lowered a few million. While Gaga never bought the place, she was living a luxury lifestyle the time she did rent it. The gigantic penthouse spanned 11,000 square feet, bigger than her Malibu home, along with a bonus 2,000 square feet of outdoor space. The kitchen here boasted double marble islands and double sinks, double wine fridges, and a lavish chandelier. Other features included two wet bars, an eight-seat movie theater, and a showroom-style garage on the first floor. The apartment also had an indoor pool, steam room, sauna, and gym. It's thought that Gaga stopped renting this luxury residence in 2018 after telling Vogue she left New York to remain in Malibu full time. Although NYC might be a little too hectic for the mega famous star now, Lady Gaga probably always feels drawn to the city because it was her home and where she grew up. Alright, can you describe New York City in three adjectives? Gritty, fun, and bright. All right, now we've taken a look at Lady Gaga's homes, including her main Malibu mansion she calls her Gypsy Palace, as well as the Hollywood home she sold, and her former New York rental. Out of those three properties, where would you most like to live? Her Malibu estate looks like paradise, not to mention its location on the water, so I'll just have to pick that spot. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Gaga's homes down in the comments. Thanks for watching, don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram, and tell me which celebrity homes we should take a look at next. I'll see you all next time. Next time. Bye.